Fat Guy Lil Sips here on the 12th day of the 12 days of Christmas. I hope everyone's having a great Christmas time. This is my first run at these types of things. Hopefully next year will be even better. You know, looking forward to Christmas and New Year and all that stuff. And again, this is, you know, 23 was just the beginning of the year for me. So let's see how I can get better next year. Uh, but uh, without further ado, let's dip into the 12th day and close it out for you guys. Now, I've been digging in, but you know what? Screw it. Let's get in here now. Uh-oh. Last day, double the trouble. Push that off to the side. <clears throat> what we got here? A boutique whiskey. And a Rebel 100. Now, I've heard of Rebel 100. I did not know it was weeded. Hmm. It's 100 proof. You would think it's a bottle and bond, but it doesn't look like it. So, it's pretty cool. It is a Kentucky straight bourbon, which I think means four years? Or is that two? I have to go back to my thing and look at it. But I think it's four. And then the Boutique Whiskey, which does not have any other information. Doesn't say like it's from Japan or Finland or any of those places. Blended in the UK using whiskeys from various countries. <laughs> this is all over the world. Goodness, did I even pour any? Oh my God, it's just thin. Look how thin it is, man. Let me get a little more of that, but my goodness, is that just, it's like water almost. At least the Rebel Yell has a little tinge to it. Color-wise, it's, you know, it's just whatever. Brand new. Let's see if I can get that wheat funk that I usually get. No, I don't get any wheat funk. Hmm. Let's see what I go over here. I just barely smell just a little alcohol on it. What kind of proof is this? 41.6? Hmm. But I don't get any like smell flavor. Maybe a little smoke in the back end, but that's about it. Maybe it's got some scotch in it or something. Whiskey, oh, whiskey of the world. It's just, it's pretty smooth. Doesn't really hit you much, but I think it is got a little scotch in it. Not a super smoky one though. Not like a peat bomb or whatever. But I mean, if you saw how thin that was, that's like water. It's got a little apple, like a uh, cider kind of taste to it, just barely. I don't know, not a huge fan. But maybe this 12 days of Christmas has had me understand and love bourbon even more. That's bad news for Amy. Oh, I do get a little twinge on the back end. I think that might be wheat. It's got a little grassiness. I can see like, yeah. And it kind of, maybe it dries my tongue out a little bit. Maybe that's the grass weakness in it. I mean, but it does have a little more spice than I'm used to on the wheat. Maybe I'll look up the mash bill online. Usually wheaters or bourbon wheats or whatever you want to call them. Don't have any rye in them. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Well, I got the box open. Let's just go back and remember day day by day. Day one was my favorite. Wow, Turkey 101. Remember uh, that one comment from that one video? 
They're going to get a half a shot of wild turkey. They can have all the American honey they want. Trust me. Now, this wasn't too bad, Johnny Walker. 12 years. It's good color for a scotch. They can get some of that. Gulliver's Single Malt Whiskey. I think uh, that guy likes... Um, oh, my goodness. On this day four... Doesn't look like it was open. Maybe I missed day four. Huh. I, don't, I know I didn't miss day four because I remember that's the short that Yoda had a little uh, jump in. That's funny. I put that in there somewhere. Gulliver's uh, day five is. Oh. Day six is Cairo. I thought Cairo is a no go, was like day nine. I think I dropped that in the wrong hole. That was day 10. Oh, maybe Gulliver's is day. Well, it's still missing. There's two missing. I'll go back and look. Sheepdog peanut butter whiskey. That was yummy. Okay, this one was a good one. Jameson. Irish whiskey. Pretty good. Gulliver's. This one is the Cairo is no go. Oh, Iron Smoke. Good, good hit on that one. And then these two, Rebel 100 and Botiki is a Noki. All right. Well, anyways, I had a great uh, time with you guys. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Maybe uh, this next year, like I said, we can continue to experience, grow, maybe get some regular times and schedules down. Maybe get some uh, ideas and thoughts from the, the fans on what they want. But either way, I hope you had a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Fat Guy Little Sips out.